Hi, this is Scott Shepard, Photo Media Instructor at Lake Area Technical Institute, Watertown, South Dakota. And this is one in a series of tutorials to help you learn how to use um, photo image editing software. In this case, it's Aperture 3.0. If you're like me um, and you take a lot of photos over time, your library continues to grow. In this particular Aperture library, I've got over uh, 53,000 photos. And if you're like me, you may be looking for a specific um, place that you took photos or time that you took photos or subject of photos. And Aperture has a very, very cool way of narrowing down the photos from a large number to a small number. Uh, today what I'm doing is I'm looking for photos that I took in Alaska. I was there in 2009. So if I go over just to the uh, image sort um, box and put in Alaska, click enter, right away it's taken all 53,000 photos and narrowed it down to 1,200 photos that I took in Alaska in 2009. But that's not good enough. I would like to refine this search a little bit more. And that's when the, um, uh, the filter tool comes into play. This little button that's right next to the uh, window here, if you click on that, you get a dialog that looks something like this. Now, I've been using my filter tool quite a bit, and so yours may look a little bit different from mine. And I'll show you how you can customize it to find the, the particular things that you want to find. Now, in this case, uh, I'm going to look for photos that have a rating of 5 or higher. Actually, 5 is the highest rating. And you'll notice that uh, right away, it's narrowed it down to 128 photos in this collection. So remember, I started at about 52,000, narrowed it down to 1,200 that have to do with Alaska. And now I've narrowed it down to 128. Um, the other thing that I'd like to do, I'm going to undo the rate. I actually, I'm going to change the rating to four. And in this case, uh, I'm looking for photos that are flagged. And uh, it just so happens that I have one photo in that whole collection that's flagged. Or if I wanted to, I could uh, find photos that have a rating of blue. And uh, <laughs> for whatever reason, this one's not working. But let me show you another tool that's kind of another thing that you can do with this tool. I told you that you could customize it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and add a rule. Now, there are all kinds of rules that I can add here. Like I say, this is a very sophisticated search tool. But in particular, what I'm looking for is the calendar tool. Now, in this case, I'm looking for photos that... Uh, uh, I'm going to undo the rating, and I'm looking for photos that were taken in Alaska on a particular day. And so if I click Calendar, having added that to the list of sort tools, and I need to go to uh, 2009, you notice that as I scroll through these calendars, uh, the days that are uh, brighter are days that I took photos. Um, but, like I say, I'm going to 2009. No doubt there's a faster way to do this. But here I am in 2009. I think we were there in June. Uh, no, we were there in July. So if I click on July 14th, well, no photos taken in Alaska on that day. But on July 20th, those are the photos that I took. July 15th, photos that I took, and so on. And then I can go back and refine this search by date and place and rating. So now I'm looking for photos that just had five stars that were taken on July 16th in Alaska. Uh, the last thing I can do is I can create, and I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see it, I can create an album with just those images in it. And if I click on that, I now have, zoom back out, I now have a dialog that asks me to name this. I'll put in Alaska. I'll click OK. And somewhere over here, I have an album now. And you'll see it right there. So this is a very cool way to refine a search and then uh, take the photos that you found in the search and have them easily located in your um, browser or your library over to the left-hand side. Anyway, this is an overview of how you can use the filter tool in Aperture. 
It's a very useful tool as you start to grow your Aperture Photo Library. Hope this helps.